Hey Budget Fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are cash stuffing into our sinking funds and our savings challenge binders, as well as our new travel binder. If you're new around here, welcome. My name is Jordan. We love doing cash stuffing on this channel. I am a single mom of two little boys, so we talk about how I budget my life and how I make my full-time income off of Etsy and YouTube. If you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. We would love to have you as a part of our Budget Fam. If you are not new, if you have already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back for another video and another cash stuffing. Let's start out as always and go ahead and count this cash. Make sure we have what we think we have. 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 310, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27. 327 dollars to stuff today. How are you guys doing on this beautiful Monday? The weather here has been amazing. I'm not gonna lie. It's been really hard to keep the boys focused on schoolwork or to, I guess, get me motivated for schoolwork with homeschooling them because the weather has just been so nice. So every free second we have that's not committed going somewhere, I always want to just like let them play outside. But can't complain, it has been absolutely beautiful weather. By the way, I know some of these fives and ones are very crumpled. I've tried to flatten them, they don't want to. I had some money just kind of thrown at the bottom of my bag. That happens sometimes, you know, you get some ones kind of lost. These are some lost ones that I'm happy to add to our cash budgeting binders. Okay, I scooted everything over to give us some room to work with. Let's go ahead and start with our travel binder. Actually, because I am making this trip very soon at the very end of the month, this is a new binder and the trip was somewhat unplanned. My goal is to stay under $1,200 to go to Great Wolf Lodge. So for preparation or trip needs, we have 50 in here. Let's go ahead and add another 10 to get us to $60. Our goal for preparation is 120. That is for like a bathing suit for me, snacks along the way. I think I'm also gonna include in this total some food for the room. I do have a meals and snacks category, but I know we're gonna save some money on the actual trip if we are prepared ahead of time with some food for in the room, some meals for in the room, that kind of thing. Transportation, we are going to be driving there. So let's see, we have $80. Let's go ahead and add another, let's add a 20 to get us to $100 towards gas. It is a five hour trip, so my goal is $160 purely for gas to get there. We have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, $100 now towards transportation for this trip it is just gas money next for our trip is lodging you guys know I already paid $400 towards like securing the hotel and then I'm splitting the room with my parents so I only have $120 left that I need to pay towards my portion let's go ahead and add another 20 though and get us closer to that goal because like I said this trip ideally I would have given myself more like wiggle room I would have given myself more time 50 60 70 80 80 dollars towards lodging but this trip was just so last minute if you've been watching you already know that I have been in some weird moods lately because a lot has been going on I'm starting to think about moving again I am wanting to put a priority on travel and stuff so anyway food that's meals and snacks while we're there we have the goal of 250 because I tend to splurge the most on like snacks and food items with for the kids like ice cream and things so we have 100 let's just add 10 to put us at 110 50 100 110 towards food meals snacks that kind of thing almost done with the travel binder and then we'll move on to sinking funds and savings challenges entertainment that is admission into things passes our goal is only 100 dollars because the pool itself is already paid for that's going to be the main thing that we are doing I do have a hundred dollar goal though because we're adding 20 20 40 60 60 dollars now towards entertainment admissions passes I do I've never been to Great Wolf Lodge which is where we're going but I do know that you can spend a lot in like the arcade area I'm hoping to stay away from the arcade I am hoping more to spend money on, like they have a ropes course. I think you can buy an all day pass and do it a ton if you do that. So like there's some things there that I do want to pay towards entertainment, but I plan on mostly staying in the swim area, which is included. I don't know what's up with like the spirit figures today. Shopping, 
fun gifts. We're going to add just a 10 to put us at $40. If you didn't see my last video where I explained this travel binder, basically each card has a category. On the back of it, there is a $1,000 end mark, but I just highlighted or marked what my goal is for this particular trip. And for this time, I'm just putting a dot next to the number. I will reuse these cards and that next time I think I'll highlight as I go, as well as having the end mark like highlighted, but because I want to reuse them, I'm just putting a dot this time. If you're interested, these are still in the shop. Shopping, fun and gifts, we have 20, 30, 40, $40 now, yes, okay. If you're interested, these are still in the shop. I did purchase 100 sets of them. There's a good chance this is going to be a limited time item, and I think we have about 40 left. So if you're interested, I would pick it up sooner rather than later. There is a blank card. All of the cards either have 1,000 or 2,000 goals. You guys can see my last video if you want to see more about the, if you want to see more about the travel place holder cards. It's a new line in my shop. I think it's really fun. But anyways, let's move on to our sinking funds and our savings challenges. Yeah, let's go ahead with new clothes. We're going to skip new clothes for now. Let's skip roll the dice. Let's go to one month ahead. I would like to put, I am going to go ahead and put a 50 in the one month ahead because I would like to create a little bit of a cushion as I'm thinking about moving again and... I don't know. I don't know that this will actually get to go towards one month ahead, but like moving expenses and things, I'm just considering this more an emergency fund. But if I do end up staying put, we will be one month ahead on our bills. We have $500 in the bank in a savings account. We added 50, so we have 550, 70, 90, 610, 630, 640. $640 towards one month ahead. Pantry stockpile, let's go ahead and we are just going to put a one for now. This is for a pantry stockpile, as the title suggests. I would like to do a large trip to, I would like to have a large trip to, to Sam's Club. We don't have a Costco here, but Sam's is sort of our equivalent, if you will. If you have a Costco and a Sam's, or if you have lived somewhere that you've had both, which one do you like better? I've never lived by a Costco, so I don't, know if they're the same thing I assume they're very similar but you guys tell me <laughs> uh, but we have a Sam's Club so I would like to do a big pantry stockpile soon right now we're just going to add a dollar we have 10 20 30 35 40 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 55 dollars towards pantry stockpile I think next week we're going to do an unstuffing and a consolidation so keep an eye out for that video we're just going to get rid of some of these ones and things and put some bigger bills in. Maybe put some money in the savings account. We will see. We're going to skip books for now and we're also going to skip field trips. Let's put some money in car insurance because that is a responsible category. So we're going to put a five for now. Car insurance, we have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55. If I haven't mentioned it, every single thing that you see in these binders you can find in my Etsy shop. Etsy shop name is Jordan Budgets, just like this channel name. Last binder, I think today's video is going to be kind of a short and sweet one. Oh, 100 envelope savings challenge. I do want to give a quick shout out and thank you to everybody that tipped this last couple of weeks. I want to say thank you to Lily, Carrie Ann, Antoinette. Thank you to Crystal, Jennifer, and Robin. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Esmeralda. Thank you, Constance and Nicole. Total, you guys tipped $81 this week. I appreciate you guys so much for doing that. That is not expected or required, but I appreciate whenever you guys put me in your budget and you leave a tip. We're going to put all $81 into the 100 envelope savings challenge this week because $81 is perfect to fill in like our next highest amount that we still need to stuff for this category. 50, 70, 80, $81 towards the 100 on loop savings challenge. This money, once we've colored all of this in, once we've filled every envelope, if you will, then we will have $5,050. This is going towards a move, a house down payment, a car if we need it, something big that is like the first need of that bunch, right? 
<laughs> so I'm excited to save for house down payment or for a more reliable car. Either one of those things would be amazing. So $100 envelope savings challenge. We do have $2,000 in the bank. One, two, three, four, 1400 in the bank. These are just placeholders. 14, 50, 500, 50, 600, 50, 700, 50, 70, 90, 95, 800, 801, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1,809 dollars towards the 100 envelope savings challenge. So almost 2,000 dollars, which is amazing. My hope was to be able to do this in within the year. I don't know if that's gonna happen. We will see. How would you guys like me to handle the binders at the end of the year? Do you think I should completely pull everything and stuff it and restart for the new year? That's what I'm leaning towards, but let me know what you guys would like to see. If you would like me to see me continue it until I complete it, let me know in the comments. We are going to add a 25 towards summer camps for the boys this coming year. I think summer camp for the boys, oh gosh, I hate to announce something as far as it goes with moving because y'all know I did that for a while and then I changed my mind. We'll see what happens. But like I said, I do have a move on my mind again. So I'm thinking summer camps will either be kind of a last hurrah here in this town where they get to hang out with their friends all summer at summer camps or I might try to move before the end. It, like before the summer starts and they'll get to meet a whole bunch of new friends in a new town. We're gonna see my lease for this house kind of ends. I think my lease for this house end, ends right at the end of summer. I need to look at that. I'm not sure. Anyway, summer camps, we added 25. We have one, two, 300 in the bank, 300, 50, 400, 50, 70, 95, 10, 535, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 590 dollars towards summer camps for the boys. My goal is about two thousand dollars, so I feel like we're off to a great start, especially considering it is only October. Back to school. This is to save for back to school items for the boys. Let's let's skip that for now because the more pressing need is going to be Christmas. Each of these Christmas trees for me represent twenty five dollars. You can customize this card in particular to whatever you need it for amount to save you write in your goal and then I think there's 30 trees and so for me each tree represents $25 so let's go ahead and put $50 in for Christmas so we can color in two more of our Christmas trees getting us closer to that thousand dollar goal my boys birthdays are end of August start of September so I usually put Christmas on the back burner until right after their parties and then I start really kind of beefing it up so really I save for Christmas about six months of the year and I save for birthdays about six months of the year it's just kind of how it realistically works out for me I think ideally I would like to say for both of them for a full year it would maybe feel a little less stressful but I just know how I am that's not gonna work for me I think the cool thing about budgeting cash budgeting specifically is you can set goals that you know are going to resonate more with you like not everybody's gonna do it exactly the same that is what is so great about it because we can kind of customize it how we need it and how we feel motivated with it christmas we added 50 we have one 200 in the bank 50 70 90 310 330 350 370 390 400 405 10 15 20 520 dollars towards christmas sorry if my air conditioner unit is very loud i'm filming in a new location so it is a little bit of a lot Okay, so we are just going to skip some of these categories actually because we only have $35 left. I want to, I think I'm going to go ahead and put all 35 into medical because I do have a couple of appointments coming up and I am a pay out of pocket right now. I don't have health, health insurance. We're going to be pulling this money soon anyway, so let's not color it. We do have three, 300 in the savings account, 350, 70, 90, 400, 410, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55. 455 dollars towards medical which should cover my upcoming appointments that is it for this cash stuffing i know it was a short and sweet one 
you all know I'm trying to stay on top of filming and, and creating some fun things for the Etsy shop. So hopefully this is the week that we get on track. If not, I hope y'all will continue sticking around. I do plan on having at least a couple of videos a week for the upcoming or foreseeable future, but I'm trying to get back to three or four videos a week like we were doing previously. We will see. As always, I love you guys. I appreciate you and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.